SRC is a holding company that has several subsidiaries, mainly involved in the aftermarket of components for almost any kind of vehicle with the exception of an airplane. Our evolution was quite extraordinary. We were working for a Fortune 500 company for about 14 years, and then the recessions of the 80s hit. And then it was one that our Fortune 500 company could not adapt to. Our plant went up for sale. And we had to make a decision at that time what was going to happen to us. Our employees were scared. They didn't know what their future was. And we made a, a really rash idea by sitting there saying, well, why don't we try to buy the company? We actually went to the marketplace and were turned down almost 50 times for a loan. So as we began to write these business plans, we decided very early that why aren't we engaging everybody in terms of these business plans? Why aren't we teaching them how to write the metrics of a business? We're teaching them chemistry, we're teaching them physics. What's so difficult about the financials? And we elevated our thinking and as a result of that, we elevated the thinking of everybody in the organization. It was like a complete evolution in terms of being able to transform ourselves from the industrial world into what was now becoming the knowledge world. So we had learned from a very, very old philosopher in terms of running companies that what we needed to do was to handle variances and deviations. And so what we did was allow people to be able to establish their own standards, and then we held people accountable to their own standards. And any time there was a deviation or a variance, okay, it was owned by the person that established the standard so the leadership team didn't really go out there and shoot the person. They went out there and kept working the system and be able to manage variances and deviations. So we moved from this, this ability of opening our books and teaching people how they fit into the success of the company to then opening up our doors to anybody that really wanted to come in and see what it was we were doing and the power of financial education. That's the core of what we do. How do you get a team to be able to work together if there isn't some type of program that people achieve or, and work towards? So we decided to put in a system called the Great Game of Business. The idea with the Great Game of Business was is to teach the rules, show them the scorecards, and give them a stake in the outcome. If that's what you want when you start a business, that you want to build this kind of value in it, all right, this is where you want to take the company, then why wouldn't you gauge everybody in the company to be able to do that? I believe the backbone of SRC Corporation is people. It's management coming together with employees and having a, a goal and uh, having one mindset. Not only do we hear the financials on how it impacts our life, but how it helps other people outside the company. We wanted to create a 100-year-old company. We wanted to create something of sustainability. We wanted to create jobs, all right? And so the whole idea was is to is to be able to teach people the measurements of the business and how a business is truly measured. It isn't only measured by the product and the services, it's how you apply the cash flow, how you apply the investments, how do you maintain the growth and the sustainability inside a company. It's a whole new set of metrics. There are a lot of people who think that manufacturing is dead. What we've got to be able to do in manufacturing is we've got to be able to teach the have-nots how the haves made it. And that's the idea of the open book. That's the idea of the great game. That's the idea of transparency. Open book is about teaching the metrics of success of the business itself and to put it into the hands of as many people as you possibly can and watch the company grow, watch the company succeed.